Are psychedelics helpful or harmful to mental health? Research on psychedelic use in the 1960s did find some adverse mental health effects. Researchers found that 0.4 to 1.2 per 1,000 research participants showed psychotic reactions lasting more than 48 hours. They described fear, a prolonged sense of dread or full panic. But these researchers found no evidence that psychedelics cause long-term negative effects on mental health. Modern studies have more stringent policies when it comes to participation selection in psychedelic trials. Clinical studies today screen out anyone at risk of bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and other psychotic disorders. Therefore, there are far fewer cases of negative mental health effects, but it's difficult to scientifically prove how the substances affect people with conditions like bipolar, schizophrenia, or other psychotic disorders. Using data from 2001 to 2004, drawn from the National Survey of Drug Use and Health, researchers recently evaluated possible associations between lifetime use of psychedelics and current mental health in the United States adult population. In a large sample of respondents, 13.4% reported lifetime psychedelic use. No significant associations were found between lifetime use of any psychedelic or past year use of LSD and increased rate of any mental health outcome. Surprisingly, in several cases, use of psychedelics was actually associated with a lower rate of mental health disorder. Now, many psychonauts stress the importance of set and setting. Others have expanded this set and setting, SD, to SSSD, or setup, setting, safety, and dosage. It's recommended that before ingesting any psychedelic that these four criteria are checked and met. If these conditions are suboptimal, it's been reported that there will be a higher likelihood of unwanted, perhaps traumatic, psychedelic, psychotic effects. A study at Johns Hopkins University in 1993 collated the experiences of people who reportedly had bad trips with psilocybin. Only 2.1% of the participants used psychedelics in a setting that at all resembled a controlled clinical environment, and this may have increased their likelihood of having a bad trip. Of these people who had bad trips on psilocybin, 39% reported that the bad trip was in their top five most challenging experiences of their life. 11% reported putting themselves at risk of physical harm during the experience. 7.6% had sought treatment for one or more psychological symptoms, which they attributed to the challenging psilocybin experience. 2.6% reported behaving in a, an aggressive manner, and 2.7% sought medical help. Very interestingly though, 84% said that they had benefited from the challenging parts of the bad trip. 46% said that they would repeat the experience. 34% of participants still ranked their bad trip as in their top five meaningful life experiences. In the last decade, researchers have also found some very exciting therapeutic uses for psychedelics. First, psilocybin has been incredibly effective at treating nicotine addiction. In a 2014 study combining cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, with psilocybin, Roland Griffiths and his team found that 80% of patients still abstained from cigarettes six months after the combined CBT psilocybin treatment. This is compared to less than 35% after six months using CBT alone without psilocybin. Researchers have also found psychedelics to be effective at treating alcoholism. In fact, Bill Wilson, who founded Alcoholics Anonymous, advocated for LSD therapy before it became illegal in the 1960s. In 2019, Researchers collated the experiences of 343 online participants who suffered from alcohol use disorder previously, alcoholism. After one year, 83% of participants no longer met the criteria for alcohol use disorder or alcoholism. In addition to getting people off alcohol, 
Subjects also report that the symptoms of alcohol withdrawal were much less severe than times the participants tried to quit without the aid of psychedelics. One participant wrote, quote, it allowed me to feel whole again and forced me to connect with the emotional trauma. It gave me insight into the nature of addiction and how it enslaves us physically, mentally, and spiritually. Addiction numbs us to any kind of growth as a human being. Also, researchers have found that psychedelics can be extremely helpful in fighting depression. Researchers found that after a high dose, single sitting treatment with psilocybin, patients with moderate to severe depression found a marked reduction in depressive symptoms after one week and three months following the treatment. Because of this fast acting quality, researchers have suggested that psilocybin may be used to offer swifter support to people suffering from suicidal thoughts or harmful behavior. After psilocybin treatment, 100% of patients with treatment-resistant depression showed a decrease in depressive symptoms one week after the treatment, and nearly half of participants maintained this positive mood in a follow-up study five weeks later. Researchers have also found significant increases in positive attitudes, mood, and social effects following psilocybin sessions. In one study, these effects continued in a 14-month follow-up and the participants rated their experience as one of the most meaningful experiences of their lives. Now, there are many possible reasons for this. Uh, one possible explanation for the antidepressant application of psychedelics is that psychedelics decrease activity in the default mode network, and default mode network overuse has been linked to general unhappiness. Another explanation is that the egolessness one experiences while on psychedelics decreases the sense of self, and a strong sense of self implies a strong sense of separation from others, causing feelings of loneliness. There are still many questions as to why and how psychedelics act the way they do in response to depression and addiction, and researchers are continuing their efforts to explore these applications.